first machine that we brought here today was our H2All. That is our affordable water purification system that can be transported virtually anywhere in the world. The H2All itself can purify up to 2,500 gallons a day, going through multi-filtration system. This is a uh, sediment collecting filter. This filter right here will collect all the big particles coming right out of the stream. Then it goes through our G, uh, GAC KDF filter, which gets rid of the iron ore and minerals. This is a heavier cartridge, which is a multimedia cartridge. We believe it's the better way to do it um, because it can collect a lot of other contaminants and a lot of other minerals that you may not know that are in your waters. Then it goes into carbon block. Carbon block gets rid of the taste, the smells. Then we go into one micron polishing filter. The one micron polishing filter basically will grab any other little particles that got through all the others before it goes through our ultraviolet sterilization. The UV2 will basically sterilize any water coming through it and gets rid of 99.99% .99 of the viruses coming through. Is it going to be better than the... Tap water? Yeah. Yes. You will notice that you don't have the chlorine and also you don't have the fluoride taste. This is a UV2 which is what sterilizes the water. This flotation device is what we developed after traveling over abroad so that the pumps don't sink to the bottom and we suck up all the dirt and further contaminants. So therefore, this will sit six to 10 inches below the water level, which will get the cleaner water pumping through. And no matter how the water raises or lowers, this will hold the pump housing. Also acts as a park filter to get rid of the big sticks and root big blocks out. Our pump, when Sean comes down, we devised them so they can fit straight inside. As so. And for now, we would, we would bolt it in, but for right now, we're just going to put a little zip cord just to hold it in place for you. That's correct. We're having sun now, but it's still in and out of the clouds. You can see right here, the green means that it's fully charged. Well, right there it goes. One of the primary concerns that we have with it is that it can remove cholera, viruses, and also arsenic. Uh, Waterborne viruses that are inside, like the uh, rivers and streams, and from animals, and from people using them for everyday use, is deadly and also gets the children sick. Our machines actually can filter and provide clean, potable water at a very affordable price. Can we get that water the way it is in another container so we can put them inside? That Absolutely. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Help yourselves, please. The only difference that you will find between this and buying bottled water is the taste and the price. The taste out of ours is that you will not have the chlorine or the fluoride taste. And number two, we're 0.003 cents per gallon compared to $1.75 up to $3 per gallon of water. Real cool. This one is even better than even the bottled water because there is no chlorine inside, there's nothing, it's just pure water. And it's just, just, just very, very, very fantastic. Very nice to drink. In Sudan, yes, uh, you know, I mean, we have a lot of waterborne diseases. A lot of people get, get sick because of drinking raw water. That's correct. You know? So, I mean, this one will eliminate. <laughs> Health-wise, this one will really... Let it flush through. This, this one will really eliminate a lot of diseases. This one can work in hospitals and in schools you know, kindergartens and whatever. Having pure water is not, is not only having good, clean drinking water. It saves people's life from getting waterborne diseases. Oh, it tastes good. You don't taste chlorine in it. That's the most important thing. Because back, we, back home in Sudan especially, they put a lot of chlorine in the water to a point that sometimes harm people. With this, it's just, it's pure water. We have our reverse osmosis machines. They can do a desalination. This is our MP Tracker 6. It's a six panel tracking system, which can be providing for fresh water out of fresh water source, brackish source, 
contaminated source, or salt water. When it is fresh water, this six panel unit can pump 7,500 gallons a day. Our tracking system uses a dual axis tracking, which will track the sun from east to west and also north to south. If it's cloudy, it will still pick up sunlight. You do not need to rotate the machine, do not need to move the machine. The machine automatically picks up the best sunlight possible. It goes through all the multi-filtrations to get rid of all the viruses and gives you clean, potable water. We have another tracking system that can pump all the way up to 30,000 gallons a day. And we also have other models that pump up to 70,000 gallons a day. Our last model is our irrigation model. The irrigation models are straight panels to power. And if there's sun, we can provide water. And it's only for irrigation or for livestock and or for feeding crops. We can provide water up to 650 to 700 feet, and our largest system can pump uh, approximately 150,000 gallons per day. This is our irrigation model. It's purely for irrigation. You want to move water? That's what this does. It takes direct sunlight, goes through our inverter. From our inverter, goes straight to a pump. There's no other devices, no other contractions. You can look in the back of it. There's nothing. So we have a six panel. It goes all the way up to a 32 panel system. 32 panel system was made to pump 800 feet down, supply a lot of water. Take this, the energy from the sun, automatically goes through our inverter boxes, gives us AC outlet. That's it. We made this a, an economical irrigation machine to compete with the gas and diesel. Um, a lot of farms, a lot of governments have to subsidize um, $7 a liter we heard up to in some areas the government has to subsidize for. Instead, we showed them a, a breakdown that this unit, you could pay for itself in three years. This is how. You're not paying the farmer this, you're already doing this, you're already doing that. You don't have to go ahead and fix the, the generators or the pumps. You don't have to worry about contamination of them bringing diesel or fuel out there. Then they got to go buy the fuel and have them, if it breaks, then they have to get parts. Here, it's just one thing that's going to have to break on this thing ever will be the pump. One part. And then that's that much less money that the government's going to have to provide them with the food and that much more that they can then turn into schooling or, or education or helping the, the jobs. Anything that you can divert away from what they're already spending for, the government freed up more resources. It's uh, something that can really work in a lot of rural communities where we are interested. Like the region we're talking about is just coming out of a war, a long civil war, and uh, there are no infrastructure, so there are places that by the time they will get proper water resources, it will take a long time, and something like this can really cut that uh, time, time uh, span into half or something. The people then can be sustainable, they provide their own food, then it frees up resources to the governments. The government then can provide that to provide shelter, and also housing, and also for schooling for the children. Definitely, uh, we in uh, ECE, uh, the Equatorial Council of Elders here, we are going to be recommending very strongly to the government of Central Equatoria that they take up this project. That, that's the only recommendation I have, but my, my impression is that it's, it's just very, very, very nice and, you know, I'm impressed with the whole thing, you know, I mean, the machines are easy to fix, the machines are easy to set up, the small one, you can just transport it, you can have a, a donkey or, or a donkey pulling it, even fixing the machine itself, putting it up, setting it up, it's just very, very simple. It's easy, I can learn it in one day or in a minute <laughs> to operate it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not only providing clean water. But health-wise, it saves people's life from getting waterborne diseases. This is exactly why our systems are affordable on all levels.